Coming to you from the Strack and Van Til Studios. This is your 219 News Now. Strack and Van Til, making customers' lives easier for 93 years. I'm Andrew Garcia and this is your 219 News Now. The Hammond City Council passed an ordinance that forces the city's 37 gas stations to close between midnight and 5 a.m. Councilman Mark Kalinske and Barry Tyler voted against it. City Mayor Thomas McDermott had this to say. It's a crime control issue. And quite frankly, this is my job as mayor. This is our job. The council, the seven council members that voted for it, thank you. The two that didn't vote for it are clueless. They don't even know what their damn job is, Jim. Your job is to control crime in the city of Hammond. McDermott said the problem is crime coming from Chicago. He then told this story. We're getting ready to wake up Monday morning for the week. We have a car of three uh, gang members from Chicago come to fill up in North Hammond. And then in another car is a man and a woman. And the man and the woman jump in their car to get away from the scene. So they start driving west towards the state line. And then the gentleman in the other car jump in and they start chasing her. And they start driving down the street and they fire automatic weapon into the car. And killed both of the members of the car. The car crashes right by the gas station on state line, right? And there's a kid in the back seat. We don't realize it until the time. Two-year-old kid watched his parents get annihilated. First it was Cleveland Cliffs, then Smark, and now guess who? That's right, Arcelor Mattel. All three are reported to be in the game to buy U.S. Steel and Gary. Sources say Arcelor Mattel was in talks with investment bankers about putting in a bid. In 2020, Arcelor Mattel sold Cleveland Cliffs its operations in Burns Harbor, East Chicago, Gary, Riverdale, and New Carlisle. Firefighters in the Highland community are mourning the death of Fire Chief William Bill Timmer, who died unexpectedly at his home Monday morning. Timmer served as the chief for 30 years. The chief's body was accompanied to the Lake County Coroner's Office by Highland Police, Fire, and Emergency Medical Service vehicles. And in sports, Hammond Central had a phenomenal season in 2022, but after a blowout loss in the sectional championship game to Maryville, the Wolves know just how much more they have to grow if they want to take that next step. From the expectations from year one to year two, they knew who I was. Uh, we we uh, had a full season together, first full off season, full summer, because I really didn't get hired till almost the summer of that first year. So they didn't really know me, I didn't know them, and it, it took a little bit of time to get bonding and all that stuff and get, get our culture started. To see the full version of this edition of Countdown to Kickoff, be sure to head to JetTV.com, Facebook, or Twitter. For all other local stories, be sure to head to NWI.com. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this has been your 219 News Now.